Hello and welcome to Quick Tip 24 which I've entitled Adding Some Sizzle to Your Content and in it I'm going to show you a number of techniques to add some visual imagery to your learning content. These techniques are equally appropriate for your Word and your PowerPoint presentations as they would be for your online content. So let me get stuck straight in. Uh, I'm now in my web browser. I'll go to this one first. Um, the first and very common technique is to find images that already exist. But we want to ensure that we do so safely. And so there's this great search utility called search.creativecommons.org. And it really only searches sites and images where it's, uh, meets, we meet our copyright obligation if we use them. So, for instance, if I wanted to search for images of Flinders Street Station, and you might notice lower on the screen here, it can search a whole range of things. And I've chosen Flickr and hit go and it presents me with a number of images perhaps this one interests me so I'll click on it now if you're not familiar with Flickr you can see a larger image by clicking on it again and then I find it really useful to go to this view all sizes window Okay, so this screen is useful for a number of reasons. It's where we get to download the, either the original large photo or a photo at any one of these reduced sizes if you wanted a smaller one. And it also gives our copyright license. In each and every case when you're using images from the web, I would read that copyright license and see what the requirements are. Okay, so that's technique number one. Technique number two is to create what's called a tag cloud or a word cloud and you can see some examples down here and let's imagine that I wanted to do something on the Australian National, National Anthem so what I'm going to do is to start this little tool called Tagzito www.tagzito.com I click on start now it may on the first occasion ask to download some software and you'll need to just go through that process but what I'm going to do is very quickly jump over to this site and copy the lyrics to Advanced Australia Fair I'm going to come back into Tagzito now and press this load button and paste those words in to this, the box there. Now when I close that down, it's taken those words and arranged them visually on the screen and they're already looking really quite interesting. But in addition to that, I can have those words fit a particular shape and rather fortunately, one of those shapes is the, the map of Australia. So I'm going to click that. And there we have it in a matter of moments, something that's visually interesting, attractive, and um, I think really makes the screen pop. If you're not happy with that particular look and feel, you can um, press these buttons down here, which will change things like the colour schemes and the fonts, etc. Um, and you can very quickly find something that appeals to you. Once you've got something you're happy with, you can hit this Save button. And... There are a number of options here for different sizes of images, different formats of images. I would suggest the one megapixel PNG is more than large enough um, and will be perfectly adequate for almost every use. So I'm going to do that. So what that's done is it saved that image to my computer and I won't show you that in this presentation, but of course I could put that into Word or PowerPoint or into my online content and just make it lift a little. The third technique, and one for perhaps the more adventurous, is to actually use one of the many comic book services on the web. I'm showing at the moment one called MakeBeliefsComics.com, but it'll actually allow you to write a little comic strip very, very quickly, um, and on whatever subject matter, of course, you choose. Now, in this example, you've got a number of characters here that you can choose from, and once you've selected a character, you can click through and see, I guess, different moods and, and positions for that character. I want to put that one in so I've, you'll notice that jumps up to the top I can then do things like add thought bubbles perhaps and put some words in there I'm doing this quickly for the purposes of presentation but I think what you'll notice is that quite quickly indeed I can build up a comic book um, put my own words and phrases in and make something that's a little bit unique um, I'd encourage you to play with that a little bit. Feel free, of course, to get in contact with me and I can talk you through in more detail than I have in this presentation. But um, I think that often just having those little visual hooks and handles is the difference between students sort of being very passive and, and taking little interest into something that, that really gets their attention. So I hope that's useful to you.